Hey guys, it's Sinner here. I've been requested to do a, a quick little guide on the Skyrim script extender engine fixes. So what this mod is, is basically it's a requirement for the address library. So you're going to have the address library and then you come to get this. So first things you want to grab that one. And essentially what this does, I'll go through this stuff after I explain it, is essentially when the mods get released, they get released for a specific version of Skyrim. Now, Bethesda will update Skyrim every now and again, and what that does is mods will then have to make a new version of their mod, updating to now work with the newer edition of Skyrim that came out. So, to counter that, SKSE has released basically the address library and the engine fixes as an attempt so that when a mod comes out, you can download the update of mods and you can download the Skyrim update and you don't have to worry about uh, certain mods not being up to date, which is really good because you don't have to have conflicting versions of the game because a mod developer doesn't want to upgrade or update their mod anymore. So first things first, we're going to grab the first requirement, the address library. Click on that guy here. Oh, come on now. You can load. Okay. We just simply go into here. We go mod manager and then we of course make sure you're logged in slow download give it its time and then we're also before we install this one we're going to go back oh it's going to drop me over here because i already have the mod so that's standard install it's just going to install we click enable and now it's in and then now we have to resolve conflicts but i'll do that once we come back from installing the other files because then it's easier once everything is in there. So out of here again, back, all the way back, all the way back, come on. There we go, now we're back to here. The next requirement is the C++ visuals. This one, you're gonna want this guy right here. So you just click on this, it starts to download like normal. You can see I already have a copy. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna say run. You'll see an install button here, but I already have an install, so I get these options. But you will see an install button standard. Just go through all the defaults, that one. And once you got that done, then you can come back here. You already should have the script extender installed. If you don't, I have a guide for that. And if you have any questions or anything, check the comments. And uh, I can also answer a comment if you don't see one that already matches up to an issue you might have. If you're having an issue doing the guide, that is. Uh, now we come here. So part one, we want this on the mod manager. Now that we got the required files, low download. And once you get this part installed, now we can get on to part two. Part two is maybe the little bit of the more tricky of the two. So we're going to say continue. We're going to say install, enable. And uh, it says we have conflicts. Uh, it has conflicts between these two. Uh, and then it has conflicts between these two. It should have, um, that's a, that's a funny thing. It's supposed to, by default, overwrite the mod if the same one is there, but of course it didn't. So I will have to go through and just say that for now, and then I'll have to go through and remove those. But then after you do that, you hit the deploy button to make sure your mods are installed. Now that we've done that, we can go back to our browser back here now we can grab part two part two you cannot install with a mod manager so manual download slow download and what we're going to do with this is we're going to do the same thing we did with the script extender originally so we get a zip file here as you can see oh and make this box a little bit bigger oh and it decides to disappear on me how kind how kind of it truly okay we get a nice glance at my desktop here so right click, extract with 7-zip. You can extract it to wherever you want. I'm going to extract to the folder name itself. So I'll generate that. We have part two. We get these three DLL files. Now we're going to want to copy these. Go to wherever I use Steam. So Steam. Then we go on the left side of the screen here. Properties. Browse local files like so and now we're in the correct folder we need to be get all this stuff out of here and all you have to do in here is right click paste it'll say would you like to replace replace and there we go we have part two installed and part one installed 
And now we can go into the, uh, where, where's my exe? I got so much stuff in here. This is what happens when you have like 50 mods. Don't worry about that. We want the uh, SKSE loader. We click on that. The box pops up like usual and then it should load Skyrim. So we'll give it a second here. My Skyrim uh, has a few hiccups, uh, but it, it survives the process. So we're just gonna wait just to make sure I didn't break anything while I was going through. It might get a little bit mad at me because I did have two copies of the part one and the two copies of the address library, but in reality, it shouldn't actually do anything except uh, take up more space because basically one will load and then the other one will load over top of it and they're the same thing. So there's actually no real conflicts. All right, there we go. So normal sputtering and up comes my Skyrim and we're good to go. So that's how you install part one and part two. That's how you launch the game. If you have any questions, anything you're confused about, feel free to comment below, ask questions, feel free like that. If you have any issues, let me know.